Right, you guys, got another video. Stop updating Windows right away. That is today's topic. WindowsLatest.com has released loads of different articles about problems with Windows updates, and yet people still update Windows 11 as soon as they are released, and then they wonder why there is issues with their system. Now, Microsoft released mandatory updates for their operating systems on a regular basis. This one right here has now been pushed through, which is the adverts on the Windows 11 start menu has now been rolled out. And of course, there's been major problems with these updates on a regular basis. And yet people still want to update their operating system immediately as soon as Microsoft released a Windows update. They're in there clicking on the update button and installing stuff. And then they wonder why things break, like their audio or suddenly getting blue screen of death or maybe you're having other issues. There is tons of different hardware out there that Microsoft just do not test against, and it can cause major problems for a lot of people. Now, it's not to say that everyone is going to be suffering with these problems, but there is known issues with certain computers. You can see there's a known issue right here already with this update, and this goes to show you the risk of updating Windows immediately. People think they're in some sort of risk if they don't update Windows straight away. But if you're one of those people that just want to block it for a little while, then I'll show you how you can do it in this video. Now, I'm not saying that you should block Windows updates indefinitely, but what you should do is at least pause them or have it set up so they don't download and install immediately on your system and cause a major problem. There's also the restart without your knowledge. All of a sudden, your PC will restart in the background and start installing updates that you never asked for. And all of a sudden, you're having problems with your computer. So it's always best to have a pause on these. And there is a pause updates button right here, which allows you to pause for up to four weeks here. As you can see, it says pause for one week. So let me just show you how that works. But there's also some other options here, which you can do in group policy. There's also the optional updates, which some people go ahead and install and then cause major problems with this system as well. So if you don't know what you're installing, then just pause it for a little while and have a good look at the known issues website for Microsoft or even having a look online and you will see these error codes popping up and people complaining about problems. So you can see here, we've now paused for one week, but we can extend this up to four weeks by using the drop down arrow here and extend for four weeks. Now, four weeks is not going to cause you any major problems or leave your system a, a major vulnerability. So all you need to do is extend it for four weeks and read on the Internet to see whether there's any problems before you start rolling out feature updates on your system. And this will stop you from automatically installing updates on your PC and causing you major problems that you might be receiving when you update Windows. Now, if you want to do this in group policy, have even more control over your Windows updates than you can do. Let me just show you where you can look here. Under your local uh, computer policy, you want to go to computer configuration, administrative templates, and then go down to Windows components. Inside here, you'll see a Windows update area. Click on this area right here. Let me just expand this a little bit so I can see what we're looking at right here. But this will give you full control of Windows updates to when you want to update them and when you want to install them on your computer. If you're sick and tired of having bugs and issues with your computer, then take this sort of policy and it makes it a lot easier for you to manage your Windows updates. Under the select the when preview builds and feature updates are received, you can change these settings right here and have it up to 365 days. So let's just say you put 180 days in here and then put in a pause preview builds and feature updates dates right here, the starting date. You would just put in the starting date, say for today, and put in the amount of days that you want to pause it for. And this will stop Microsoft forcing Windows updates on you and installing them on your PC when they want to. Instead, you'll be taking control and installing them when you want to. And this means that you can do a bit of research to make sure that these updates are working properly and they haven't got a load of bugs that are going to cause you downtime by having issues with Windows updates. And let me tell you, there is a lot of problems with a lot of these Windows updates when Microsoft released them because a lot of these are feature updates 
where they're installing loads of rubbish on your system that you don't need. Now, we're not talking about security updates here, but you can control those as well if you wanted to. So the way you do it is take full control of all of your updates by using this method and you will have very little downtime and also have very few problems with your PC because obviously if you're just installing every single update from Microsoft, you're just going to end up with loads of problems. And this is when people keep asking, why is this happening to my computer? It's because you probably just installed the latest update from Microsoft. Now you can control and configure uh, the Windows automatic updates here also in group policy. You can set this to auto download and notify to install and notify to re restart or you can have it to notify to download and auto install. You can set this to whatever you like and you can see here you can set it up as a, a scheduled time to when you want to install these updates and even schedule a day and this will help you manage your Windows updates in a much more easier and safer way. So you can do it every month or every week or whatever it is you want to set yours up as. And this is probably the best way to make sure that you're not having forced Windows updates on you, which can break your system. Now, I'm not suggesting that you completely block Windows updates and security updates indefinitely because they are important. But this just gives you the power to when you want to download and install Windows updates on your computer rather than being forced updates by Microsoft. So I hope this video has been some sort of helped you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.